Hello and welcome to this video on using more than one method in a single class. Uh, in this video here, what you see we have on our browser, we have a circle and a rectangle. Now both of these were created from this code right here. If I look at this code, it says my stuff, new rec circle. That's a new class that, that we've made. And so what I'm going to do, my stuff, draw a rec rectangle, my stuff, draw a circle. So what I see here is that I have some default values in this class, but this class obviously has two different methods. It has a method for drawing a rectangle, and it has a method for drawing a circle. Let's see how these methods work. Let's look at the code for that. I'm going to come up here and I see here's one function called draw a circle. Now this is fr right from the previous video that we had. This is how you draw a circle. This other function is called draw a rec for drawing a rectangle. And this is from previous videos that we've had on how you draw a rectangle. So what makes these two work together? What makes these two work together is this class definition up here, which is this one, function rec circle, okay, and that's that's the class identifier rec circle right up here. And notice what it does. What it does is that it includes these two functions as methods, the one that drew a circle and the one that drew a rectangle. And that's how it tells the difference. Notice it has default values. The ID is C1. That's the default value. That's for this canvas element, which we have put right here, right there. There's my canvas element. ID equals C1. Okay. Now I can override that if I wish. And then uh, this color blue. Now both of these functions, the circle and the rectangle, need an ID. Both of them need a color. Both of them need an X coordinate, how far they are from the left. Both of them need a Y coordinate, how far they are from the top. Only the circle one uses the R value. And only the rectangle uses the width and the height value. Let me show you what I mean. If I come here for the circle, there's the R value, this R, right there. Now it doesn't use the height and the width. But the one that does use the height and the width is this right here. Uh, this width and this height, and that's the rectangle function. So one might say, well, that's okay for the default values, but supposing I wanted the circle put over here on the right. Well, all I have to do is come over here and type in uh, my stuff and then the x value, and let's make the x value equal to uh, uh, 60 okay and then we'll draw the circle so I'm going to come over here I'm going to save this save it and I bring this over here and then I do a refresh and whoops I didn't bring it over far enough but you see the circle came over okay let's make it uh, let's make it 160 that'll really bring it over <coughs> okay file and save I come over here now and I do a refresh and there it is there's my circle over here and you might say, well, suppose when I want the rectangle uh, to, uh, uh, to stay blue, but I want the circle to be red. Okay, that's fine. All I have to do here is put my stuff uh, dot color equals, and then put inside quotation marks, red. Red's a good one. Okay. And then I come over here and I go file and save. And I come over here and I do a refresh and bang, it's red now. So this code right here greatly simplifies uh, the, uh, and it hides all the complexities of the other code. And yet I can do anything I wish with these two right here uh, because they do sh share uh, common attributes. Like they do share uh, the, w the positions, they do share the, uh, the, uh, uh, the colors uh, and so when I do this in object oriented programming sometimes it's referred to as inheritance where I'm inheriting uh, 
uh, this x value and y value in both of these different methods. This, however, is not in, in the strict sense inheritance as it would be in a higher level programming language such as C++ or Java. But this does show us that we can have more than one method in a class and one might ask, well, how many methods can you, can you have? I don't know of any theoretical limit. There may be a practical limit, but I'm not aware of it. Okay, so if you're interested in what the code was right here, there's that code. Let me bring this up here so you can see that. Okay, and you can pause the video if you need to copy it, and then I'll scroll down here so you can see that code for drawing the rectangle. You can pause the video there. And then to give you some sample code for uh, drawing your stuff, I give you that here. And of course, what's what's interesting is you can make objects out of this. Like you could make a rectangle and some circles and make a car, a silhouette of a car. And then what we'll see later on is how you could take that car and make a class called car so that it's always made together. Then you can move the whole thing across the screen. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.